Last week, we learned how fashion and clothing evolved over the centuries from the ancient times to the Middle Ages. This week we'll take a look at the journey forward from the Renaissance era. Fashion in the Renaissance era was influenced by the revival of classical learning, the rise of humanism and the exploration of new lands. The Italian fashion was the most influential and innovative in this era and largely shaped Western European clothing. They wore fitted garments that showed off the human figure and used rich fabrics like silk and velvet that were imported from Asia. They also used lace, ribbons, and pearls to adorn their clothes. The English fashion was largely influenced by the Tudor monarchs, Henry VIII and Elizabeth I, who spent lavishly on their clothes. They wore elaborate garments that had wide sleeves, high collars, ruffs, and farthingales made of fabrics like satin and brocade. They also used gold embroidery and jewels to embellish their clothes. The Ottoman fashion was largely influenced by the Islamic culture and the diverse peoples of the empire. They wore loose-fitting garments that covered most of their body and used fabrics like cotton and wool. They also used geometric and floral patterns to decorate their clothes. During the 18th century, fashion became more refined and elegant. It reflected the diversity and creativity of the people who lived in that era. One of the most prominent regions for fashion was France, where the court of Louis XV and his mistress Madame de Pompadour set the tone for elegance and luxury. The French style was characterized by elaborate wigs, rich embroidery, full skirts and wide gowns called mantuas for formal occasions. The Rococo style, with its pastel colors, floral motifs, and bows, dominated the first half of the century. Later, the fashion became more influenced by what Marie Antoinette wore, such as simple muslin dresses, straw hats, and ribbons. Another important region for fashion was England, where the textile industry flourished and produced high-quality fabrics such as silk and wool. The English style was more conservative and practical than the French one, with less ornamentation and more tailored garments. Men wore full-skirted coats, knee breeches, waistcoats, and tricorn hats. Women wore open robes over petticoats, jackets, and quilted skirts for informal wear and riding habits for outdoor activities. Other regions of the world also had their own fashion trends, such as China, India, Japan, and Africa. These regions influenced European fashion through trade and cultural exchange. For example, chintz fabrics from India were popular for dresses and beddings, Chinese porcelain inspired patterns and colors, Japanese kimonos inspired loose-fitting robes, and African textiles inspired prints and stripes. Fashion in the 19th century was influenced by various factors, such as industrialization, urbanization, romanticism, nationalism and imperialism reflecting the diversity and dynamism of the people who lived in that era. Unsurprisingly, Paris became the fashion capital of the world and dictated the styles and silhouettes of the era. The French style was characterized by corsets, bonnets, bustles and petticoats for women in suits, top hats, cravats, and frock coats for men. The Victorian period, named after Queen Victoria of Britain, was largely dominated by full skirts that gradually moved to the back of the silhouette. However, towards the end of the century, the less restrictive aesthetic style began to emerge, influenced by artistic movements such as Impressionism and Art Nouveau. Another important region for fashion was North America, where the United States experienced rapid growth and expansion. The American style was more practical and democratic than Europe, with less ornamentation and more functional garments. Women wore shirtwaists, skirts, jackets and hats for everyday wear, and evening gowns for formal occasions. Men wore sack suits, bowler hats, shirts and trousers for casual wear, and tuxedos for evening wear. That brings us to the end of another episode of Science Scope. Do make sure to come back next week for the last installment in this series on evolution of fashion where we talk about modern fashion and what it represents. 
If you like our content, do make sure to hit the thumbs up button, subscribe to our channel and click the bell icon. See you next week.